I am strong because I know my weaknesses. I am beautiful because I'm aware of my flaws. I am fearless because I learn to recognize. I am wise because I learn from my mistake. I am a lover because I have felt hate. And I can laugh because I have known sadness. Sisonga is my name, Bofula is my surname, Stellenbosch is my location, and CPUT is my school. I'm a shy person who likes to be alone most of the time because I'm not talkative. I'm confident in what I do, and I am a successful planner who believes that what I do is for my people. But I almost threw the towel and died when I lost my grandmother. I am a child who grew up next to his grandmother for years. I had parents who were in Cape Town while I was in Eastern Cape. It was just a name parents, because the wealth of that phrase didn't reach me. They were not there when I was suspended at school for not paying school fees. They were not there when I got an invitation letter which says, the child who got an award for maths and EMS must come with parents so that they can get the significant information about their child at home. When the parents come, they can tell their child how he's coping and what to do. I didn't know my position at that time because my grandmother used to drink dramatically. They were not there when I was acting their part to satisfy my brothers and sisters. We are five siblings. I'm a shy person who's also a creative thinker. I generate useful ideas for my environment and people but become scared to disclose personal information. There are times when thinking of my granny, I used to do things like smoking the whole day, fighting with everyone who's talking to me and calling inappropriate words like swearing to people who do not understand what is going on. I love rap music, so I wrote some of the songs that reveals what happened to me, that helped me to regain confidence. I accepted that God is alive and prayed on a daily basis to see the victory. Having a belief, one day is one day, with the thought of, I will climb the corporate ladder. I joined a cell group where people disclosed what threatened them. At that time I became Sisong, a real granny child, and my parents came back to live with us, and then we became the royal family when we enjoyed ourselves as a family. I made a special meeting only for the family where I asked why they did what they did to me. They gave an explanatory answer that gave peace into my heart and we enjoyed ourselves as a family loving and supporting each other until now.